This is a video on recoding into the same variable, meaning that you're going to change the values of an existing variable. You're going to overwrite them. This is only appropriate in certain, certain circumstances. Um, I personally don't use a lot of this method because I typically use the recode into a different variable so that I can preserve my original data. Um, but there might be a case where it's appropriate to do this. So just as an example, um, I have here my uh, data set, small data set with two demographic variables, gender and age, and then I have these three self-esteem questions, one, two, three. You can see that they run from one to five, which is disagree to agree. And if I look at the data, which you should always do to make sure it matches up with your values if you didn't enter them in, um, here, you can see that this is wrong, right? They're labeled from six to 10 instead of one to five. We need to change it so that our six becomes a one, our seven becomes a two, eight becomes a three, nine becomes a four, and 10 becomes a five. So we're just swapping out the coding. Um, so here we have um, a couple different ways we can do this. I'm gonna show the menu version first, and then I'll talk about the syntax in case you're interested in that. So I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to recode into the same variable. And here it's always going to default to showing you the variable label. So I can right click, display variable names and for variables, uh, I'll start with one. So I could say SE1 is my variable and I'm not transforming it into any other variable. So this is a little bit um, less work than transforming into a different variable. I'm just gonna click old and new values. And you can see that I need to enter an old value and a new value. So my old value, my existing values are the six through 10 and I need to change those. So if it's a six in my old value, I want it to change to a one and add. If it is a seven, I want it to be a two. If it is a eight, I want it to be a three. If it's a nine, I want it to be a four. And I'm just pressing add after each time. And if it's a 10, I want it to be a five. And then press add. So you should always double check, just make sure that this matches what you're trying to do here. Um, I could say system missing, stay is system missing, but it'll do that automatically. So I don't need to do anything there. Um, so I'm going to say continue. And if I click OK, I'll come back to the syntax. You can see that SE1 now has one through five as the options. I don't have it, I don't have anything to check against to make sure that I didn't mess it up. So you're more prone to human error if you do this recoding into the same variable, but it's certainly an option. Um, now you can do them all at the same time if you're doing the same transformation. So I could go back to transform recode into same variables. I can move these two over and I just pressed shift and clicked so I can select them together. Um, and so this, I now have them all in the same um, box here. I can go to old and new values and I just wanna check and make sure, yep, that's correct. Continue. I already did SE1, but I'll just leave it in there. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna say, okay. And now, you can see that they have all been fixed. So one note is that um, you have to be really careful about transforming your variables uh, so that you don't accidentally um, you don't accidentally overwrite information and then lose information. So let's say that there was also a one here and it meant something different. That would be a problem because then I'm adding ones to another category of one and I'm not going to be able to tell them apart. So this transforming into same variable, you have to be really confident that it's the right choice to make. Uh, let's briefly look at syntax. So I'm going to right click and copy and create a new syntax. So how this works is we have the first one. So you can see my command here. I start by saying that I would like to recode my variable. The variable I'd like to recode is SE1. And then I'm taking my old value of six and turning it into one. Seven becomes two, eight becomes three, et cetera. 
You'll notice that it ends after that with the period. You do not have an into, which you would only have if you are doing um, recoding into a different variable. So this is a very simple, straightforward um, syntax command. You can also recode them together. So how that works is that you just would have the SE1 through SE3 in front with spaces between, and then you have what all of those variables will change into. So that's the end of this video and have a great day.